What's up, Spud Nation? I'm back. Quite the layoff, I know, a little bit. Got a lot of stuff going on, but the last time we were together, we had a little bit of a contest going on, win a sponsorship for next year's Nia Street Ball Challenge. Well, still waiting. Send some videos, everybody. We played Nina Street Ball, bringing back my old school boys. Saiyan, Wick, Hayes, we did our thing. If you haven't seen it, we got some videos up on the site. Sports Couch represented, took second place, lost to a great group of guys from Groucher. Awesome tournament, awesome job. It was great seeing my boys back from the Marinette days. Played college ball with those guys. It was an amazing time. Loved having them back in town. Hey, awesome time. Thanks for stopping by. Saying Wick Hayes. Right on, fellas. Also, Nina Street Ball had a sweet coupon deal going on. Handed out coupon books to everybody. I had a couple local businesses. Want to give a quick shout. PitVipersports.com. That's my boy over there. He is doing his thing. You need help with your gambling. Check this guy out. He's set up for success. Check it out, man. PitVipersports.com. Also, Oshkosh Tattoo. If you are in the area, the Fox Valley area, Oshkosh, Nina, Appleton, Fond du Lac, wherever you are, head on over to Oshkosh Tattoo. That's where I get all my ink done. They are phenomenal there. Great artist, great atmosphere. I love it. Oshkosh Tattoo, keep doing your thing. I appreciate it. DJ, hey. DJ, you talk about an up-and-coming graphic design guy. This is him. He's got mad skills. Dude can do anything from t-shirt design, logo design, you name it. The kid can do it. He is going to be elite. Hit this guy up. You need anything. Hit me up, Craig at sportscoach.com. I'll send you all his information. Anything graphics related, DJ is the man. Curia Child Care, you need child care support. Head on over to Curia Child Care in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Also, New Hype Solutions. They put it all together. Screen printing, embroidery, you need it. They will hook you up. New Hype, check them out. Great business, great company. All right, enough blowing people up. Enough of that. Happy 4th to everybody out there. Hey, a couple weeks have gone by. What did we all miss? NBA Finals. For those of you who are not familiar with me, I am a LeBron James man. He's the man, best in the biz, best in the league, but I had to kind of eat my words a little bit. I called it from day one, the, Cav uh, <laughs> the Miami Heat, we're going to win this whole shebang with LeBron coming over from the Cavs. Yeah, it didn't happen, I know. He folded in the fourth, he folded in the fourth. Dude has a triple-double game. It's not good enough. Hey, it's all right. This is good for the NBA. I was talking to my boy, saying He said it's great for the NBA. Dallas wins it. Miami can come in next year, do their thing, win it, do it up. Hey, the big goon Dirk, he got it done. Mavericks handle business. Dirk gets his MVP. LeBron, D-Wade, Bosh, get hungry, fellas. Get hungry. Go get that title next year, hopefully. There's a season. All these greedy suckers out there, NFL, NBA, they don't want to play. They just want money, blah, whatever. Get on the floor, get your crap handled, figure out your money issues. We need sports to watch, people. Also, NBA draft went down. Yeah, it was pretty much exactly like we figured it would be. You know, they went out there to Kyrie Irving, number one. Yeah, kind of dropped the ball a little bit. Derek Williams, you're going to be the man. Way to go, T-Wolves. You got another guy. He, superior talent. Him, Beasley, Anthony Randolph, they are going to go out there and do their thing. I'm hoping the T-Wolves win some games, do it up a little bit. Uh, everyone's jacked about Ricky Rubio finally coming over. Dude's going to be a bust. I'm telling you this right now. Couldn't hack it overseas. He sure is not going to hack it in the NBA if he can't handle it in the Euro Leagues over there. So, yeah, whatever. T-Wolves, cool. But Derek Williams, he is going to be the man. My boy Bismarck Biombo, I love that guy. He's kind of my sleeper in the entire NBA draft. 
Check him out. Follow him. See what he does. Coming over from the Congo. Not much known about him other than he's a freak of nature. Yeah, no offensive game, but still. Long arms, can rebound, can play defense. Athletic is all get up. I like him. I like him a lot. Yeah, being from Wisconsin, got to watch the Milwaukee Bucks crap their pants again. They went away, traded out of the top 10, brought in Steven Jackson, who has clearly stated he is not happy to come to Milwaukee. He doesn't want to be a buck. He's going to throw his little piss party all year long. Come on, Milwaukee. You got rid of a lot of decent pieces. Yeah, he cleared some cap. I get it. But then again, Bucks fans, we're used to you sucking. Continue to blow goats. That's what you do. I would have loved to see Jimmer for debt. Might not have been the best player. Might not have been the smartest pick at number 10. But I would have loved to watch him play in Milwaukee. Coming down, jacking up deep threes during the game. Can score at will. Do what he does. But you know what? The Bucks aren't all about that. They're not about bringing fans in. They're about, you know, making smart moves. Great job. Tobias Harris. Yeah, he's going to be another big flop. I like the John Lure pick. He might not be able to hack it in the NBA, but they took a Wisconsin boy. They brought him in, kept him in state. Should be a nice role player off the bench for the Milwaukee Bucks. All right, get out your bats. We're staying in Wisconsin. We're heading over to the Milwaukee Brewers. I am a huge Milwaukee Brewers fan. I love the Brewers. But my goodness, we are struggling. Those Brewers are struggling mightily. They get about a five-run lead, six-run lead during the game, and they just watch it slowly whittle away. And then Cameron Lowe comes in. Now, I'm not all about pinning losses on one player. Things happen throughout a game where, yeah, Prince might have made a mistake. Craig Council might have made a mistake. But you know what? You bring a reliever in with the lead, you expect them to keep the lead. Cameron Lowe has been phenomenal at blowing games. If you would hand a scalpel to a surgeon and he killed eight people, would he still have a job? No. Cameron Lowe has blown eight games, cost them eight wins, and he still has a job. The manager still turns to him in the eighth inning and says, you know what, you're the right guy for this job. Eight losses, Cameron Lowe, too many, send him down. You wouldn't hand the, the scalpel over to that doctor ever again. Get rid of him, send him down, ship him to where he belongs. I got some Facebook messages today that were hilarious. Cameron Lowe came in, in the eighth, again, with a lead, again. And a, a person at the ballpark was sitting next to a lady who said, Oh my God, here we go. Cameron Lowe is going to blow the game. Take him out now. Take him out before he even starts the inning. And once you know it, Cameron Lowe blows it. The lady was correct. All of Wisconsin knows what's going to happen. Another person sent me a message. I'm sick of the Brewers getting load. Yeah, we're all getting load. It sucks. Cameron Lowe, I hope they're done with you. I hope their little project, keep handing you the keys, is over. Come on, guys. Get it together. Maintain your leads. All right, we got the All-Star game to look forward to. The Brewers, you have three people in the starting lineup. I love it. I'm excited. We finally get some recognition here in Milwaukee for some really talented players. Before we get to the NL, we're going to start with the AL. Yeah, you can guess it's mainly Yankees, but let's check it out. In the outfield. Who do we have? The newest and biggest roid rage of the... Oh, wait a minute. Never, Jose Bautista. Dude's swinging out of his shoes. He's hitting home runs like never before. And he's doing it all natural. Right. All right. I'm all for the steroid era. Let him swing with roids. Do it up, Bautista. Inject all you want. Granderson playing some phenomenal ball over in New York. And Josh Hamilton. Might have been a stretch. I am a huge Josh Hamilton fan. I love what this dude can do, but with injuries 
I'm thinking it's kind of a reach here, giving him the start in the All-Star game. On the infield, you have the New York Yankees. Alex Rodriguez at third. Derek Jeta at shortstop. Robinson Cano at second base. Great players. Jeter, I think he could have been... Eh, you know what? He's living on a name right now. There's a pretty darn good shortstop over there in Cleveland right now, nipping at his heels. That could have given him a run for the money as the starting shortstop in the All-Star game. And at first base, you have Adrian Gonzalez swinging the mighty, mighty lumber over in Boston. And behind the plate, Alex Avila. Not a bad lineup for the AL. Always strong, always tough, and throwing in a DH of David Ortiz. I like it. AL looking mighty tough. In the NL, what do you have? Brawny, Ryan Braun, in the outfield along with Matt Kemp and Lance Berkman. Not the most fun player to watch. Putting up decent numbers this year. I guess it is a deserved start in the outfield. What are you looking at at third base? Pl Placido Polanco. Jose Reyes at short. Ricky Weeks at second. And Prince Fielder at first base with Brian McCann behind the plate. Should be a fun, fun all-star game. I'm looking forward to it, but most of all, I'm looking forward to the home run derby. Prince Fielder as a captain, along with David Ortiz. We'll see who they pick to play on their squads. It should be a very, very entertaining, nonetheless, all-star weekend. There you have it, Spud Nation. That's that. You tell me who your snubs are for the all-star game. You have someone you think got screwed, didn't make the all-star team, let me know. Email me, craigofthesportscoach.com. Hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, or on the website. You know how to do it. Spud Nation, thanks for tuning in. Till next time, we're out.